Thank you for that. I did ask Michelle, and she's already told you that I'm, you know, famous on Twitter. Uh, but I did do an interesting thing. The topic that we have today, three days ago, I put it on a poll on Twitter. So before we even, you know, come to the my esteemed panelists today, I just want to share with you what the people on the Twitter had to say. We got about 150 votes and some comments. So uh, if I can ask the E4M team to uh, please uh, put up the poll here, please. Okay, great. Uh, and you know, we, we didn't define it. Uh, we just put it out like that, which was specialist digital agency, integrated media agency, who do you think you know, will be successful in India? And uh, it was 55-45, and we got about 145 votes. Uh, my audience is uh, largely you know, marketing and digital folks. Uh, so that was an interesting one. Uh, and I think when I was speaking to the panelists here, uh, in the prep that we did, the little that we did, what was very interesting for me was that each one of you had a very different definition for what you consider to be a specialist agency versus what you consider to be an integrated agency. Uh, down to asking the question that is integrated media agency even a reality? Uh, you know, or will it succeed? Uh, should an integrated agency definition be different? And you know, what came home to me was that I think I've spent too many years in sales and marketing. 30 years ago when I started, there used to be a concept of the integrated agency. I don't know if Shashi is you know, here just now, but Shashi hired me at FCB. And uh, the media was a department that we used to have at FCB, okay? And then, you know, the first the media agency split up happened. And then, you know, once uh, when I became the CMO, I still remember, you know, at HSBC back in 2006 is when this whole concept of hiring uh, digital agencies, you know, came into four. And I remember then uh, in 2010, uh, and I've had the pleasure of working with some of you as my, uh, you know, as my agency, three of you over here, you know, I've actually worked with you guys, hiring performance agencies. So it started becoming, you know, that specialist. Uh, back to the question that we are sitting here and asking, integrated media agency, which is a combination of, let's say, digital versus press, or a combination of digital media versus digital, you know, creators. I also got some quotes from some of the audience that we had on Twitter, and you will notice that I think it's a similar kind of a question that is getting raised over here. Uh, you know, their quotes are really uh, only indicative, uh, which says both are needed. So we got that with the 55-45. You do what's right for the business. Uh, you know, uh, CMO's responsibility to ensure all the agencies work together, uh, you know, and uh, specialists work in isolation. One is fast, one is slow. So with that, I'm going to throw open this debate first to establish what is really the definition of an integrated agency. And I'm going to come to Prasad first. I had, I had mentioned to you that I'm going to get you to open. Uh, so Prasad, Hello? what do you think? Integrated media agency definition. Yeah, very, uh, very interesting one, and, and I'll be very, um, you know, um, I mean, when when this invitation came and that integrated, when I heard about integrated, I just because we we as an agency started or we as a company started as a digital first one. There's a DNA of digital one. When it integrated for us, okay, traditional was not part of my thought process at all, okay. So then I started actually looking, you know, what do you mean by that, right? And then today, very interestingly, Sam also talked about how it is, you know, unbundling happen and now how bundling probably would be happening. So when I say integrated, um, for me, definitely, uh, it's 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 more of a in the whole consumer journey, okay, because when, when it was a traditional versus uh, digital and when digital was not there, okay, there are a whole in your IDA model, uh, probably marketeers used to excite the person till desire and then the journey would start from the traditional stores, right? And then Kotler talk about 5A model, wherein from aware to ask to appeal to um, act to advocacy. Um, in the digital space, the whole thing has to be thought in a way, the first rupee that you spend, you really have to think through. The consumer is going to go through all those, of course, you know, not like a, in a linear way, but probably like a football field where ball keeps coming here and there that way. So for me, integrated is about putting that consumer in in, in middle of the whole thing. And instead of talking about share of voice, share of experiences, mm. okay? That is what integrated for me. Having said so, talking about traditional versus digital, Okay, I think that most of the other people here who probably had a traditional experience can talk about it much better than I do. 
No, we actually have Tanmoy here who started out being a pure digital guy, you know. And I, I, I remember working with him back then when we only would talk performance to him. Uh, only performance, okay, not even digital experiences. And today, of course, he leads an agency which has, you know, much larger services. So, Tanmoy, over to you. How, how has that journey happened? Actually, it's quite the opposite journey. Yeah, I think so. Uh, that's what everybody, I think, my, my team keeps saying that. But, uh, you know, when we started, I think, when we started, it was more about, okay, client has a problem which no other agency can sort out whether it's digital or performance. And we started as entrepreneurs who could get in and solve that problem, hire that type of talent fast and solve for that. And that's how we started. But as the time progressed, what we understood is that depending on where the client is in a uh, evolution or how they're internally structured, like a lot of organizations are structured very differently, that defines how they need a solution for. Yes. And if it is traditional business like CPG. They think of marketing and digital marketing completely different from a new age clients. Absolutely. Okay. And if a sales set defines the performance business versus a CMO defines what it is. So as we get gone along in the last 15 years, what I've started understanding, and that's my experience probably, which is pretty much different, is that it does not, and I completely agree with Prasad that it is not the media money that matters, it's the experience that matters, okay? And a agency who can probably bring in data, technology, and overall understanding of how the framework works for client, probably delivers better. Yeah, so I think what Prasad spoke about, you know, putting the end customer at the center of it, and you've spoken about very interestingly, how a client is structured, what is a CMO's KPI? Sometimes the performance marketing KPIs are not with the CMO. You know, they are with the CDO. That also defines, you know, on what kind of agency, uh, you know, therefore uh, you're hiring. And Sonali and I had a, you know, discussion about it because ultimately an agency succeeds if you are married to the CMO's KPIs. You know, that is that is critical. That's when you will stay and continue to, you know, be and uh, have that business, right, Sonali? So, your opinion on that. Thank you. Um, uh, it has to be mine. That wouldn't work. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Um, so, agree with you. And I think what we spoke about a lot was uh, in the space of driving outcomes, a CMO's outcomes or a business outcomes are not classified by any one specialization. You have to drive an outcome and therefore an agency that is responsible across the spectrum is in a position to look at it overall. And I think as accountability becomes the single most important thing that we are driving, it's really important that the responsibility of driving that outcome is also centralized. And again, speaking as, speaking, well, I'm speaking on behalf of Essence. We are a typical P, and we started off with depth. We started off with specialization. So we were rooted in data tech and analytics, but over time we become integrated as well because we realize that if you're only responsible for part of the outcomes, you actually don't have the full picture and you can't really influence the full picture. So that's my two cents on it. I, I completely agree with what's been said already, so I won't repeat that. Yeah. So I think what's also interesting for me is I'm hearing you say data, tech, uh, you know, uh, customer experience uh, and owning the client uh, uh, KPIs. Ajay, I'm going to come to you last, but I'm going to ask Shantanu to speak first on this. And uh, Shantanu, how have you seen uh, clients evolve? I know you were nodding your head and I know you've been my agency before, you know, so uh, how have you seen clients evolve over a period of time on this spectrum of, uh, you know, hiring specialist agency or hiring an integrated agency? Yeah, so uh, without sounding very old because then it kind of rubs off across the panel, but uh, the way, uh, the way uh, I see it as something that evolved over the past 20, 25 years. Uh, digital agencies were specialist agencies at one point in time, and not just that, within digital you'd have, uh, you remember, search specialists. Yes. You'd have social media specialist agencies and so on and so forth. Uh, uh, and okay, the 
plug. Interactive avenues has always been, but you know that it's not just a plug. Uh, built as an integrated one-stop shop for all things digital. So with that way, if I have to label a client's need and look at what we do today, then we are a full-service integrated agency. Because like you said, media were the other guys in the room. There was time when print ruled and television people were the other guys in the room, right? And then the entire adex shifted in favor of television. So if you, if, if you want to look at the uh, thing happening, so even in television today, there's more of connected TV and then, of course, a lot of uh, money going into digital and so on and so forth. So what's mainline anymore? Firstly, so sh digital and specialization, pro specialist probably doesn't go together. If that becomes, if there's a client whose uh, dominant uh, spend is going to be on the digital medium, then that is mainline for him. True. So that's, that's one big thing. Secondly, clients invariably, in the past or even today, they don't look at labels. They have a requirement and they need to look at. So specialist agencies, to my mind, would be all right if somebody is just narrow cast into doing only e-com and a client has only e-com as a requirement. True. And then it works that way. Otherwise, more or less, it's communications planning, good old school comms planning. When you do that, it starts with the messaging. And I, I, I said that to you earlier, the message and the medium can no longer be separated. So this, uh, what, what we are discussing today, I'd say not just uh, an integrated agency from a media or a paid media standpoint, but starting from the message itself. So uh, creative needs to roll in into that as well. That's, that's what I'm saying. Um, I think Srali was also hinting at that, and I think Prasad was also hinting at that. I think in the good old days, when you had outdoor and print and television, the creative could actually be separated out. You know, the, the media and the messaging used to run differently, and there was a degree of specialization there. I think the difference that digital has brought in is exactly that, which is that you can no longer separate the message from the media. And I think that's something that we all... Uh, probably will take home, uh, you know, with us today that when we are thinking of a, uh, you know, media agency of the future, whether that animal, according to me, will exist or not, I think is a question uh, that we need to ask ourselves in the context of, uh, you know, uh, uh, digital uh, media agency. Ajay, uh, you know, <clears throat> with that, I want to ask you in terms of your experience of, uh, you know, um, uh, Shantanu definitely mentioned saying that, you know, client is looking for, you know, X kind of experiences or X kind of experience that the agency has. What has been your, um, uh, you know, experience in the last five years, you know, not more, not earlier on? Have the client's preferences shifted in terms of what they're looking for? Has there been a lot of change? Uh, because the CMO organizations and the org structures are changing for sure everywhere, you know. Uh, some banks have, for example, CMO, CDO separate, um, you know, uh, some banks have it integrated. So have you seen their preferences change in terms of what they're expecting from the agencies? Yeah, so um, uh, firstly, I think what's wonderful is we are all singing on the same page. Uh, it's incredible. Um, and all of us are rooted in the consumer uh, and the consumer journey, right? And, and we're all saying that it's, uh, it's about understanding where the consumer is in his journey uh, and your own and the consumer actually gives us a lot of signals at every stage and which is why integration becomes really important because you know it, a consumer might give you signals at the time of purchase which which help you at a different uh, you know part of the cycle or or you know in the in the beginning we have we at wavemaker use a momentum which is about the consumer journey starting with priming which is about you know, uh, how primed is the consumer towards your brand. And then there's a trigger, then there's an action, and then there's purchase, right? So basically, how the consumer is going around the circle, at, at each stage, he's giving you data points, and, and you're using those data points to influence. And also, all of this is real time, and that's coming back to what you're saying, right? And when you're talking about DCO, you can hardly, uh, you know, have the luxury of having one person create your communication and another person deliver it when it needs to be done instantaneously, right? So uh, integration is therefore becoming very, very uh, important. Uh, and honestly, I think finally clients, yes, the roles in some cases are getting divided, like e-commerce 
uh, in, in quite a few clients is looked upon as a sales function uh, and not really a marketing function. Uh, data is, is kind of a CIO territory and not the CEO or the CMO territory. Yes. So uh, at the client's end, there are uh, you know, different people possibly, in some cases, uh, different uh, people having different KPIs on this. But so, so do you guys now end up interacting with the CIO inside an organization, therefore, and the CIO team? I think that's one difference then, you know, which never happened uh, earlier. Exactly, exactly. And in some cases in e-commerce, we're even talking to the salespeople. Yeah. You know, the head of sales uh, yes. is, is someone who, who yes. uh, we are connected with. So uh, I think, you know, uh, specialization works in infancy. Uh, when when something is is new, like like happened with search, like happened with social, yeah. Uh, but the onus really is now on the uh, agencies like us, and and you know I think over the last five years you spoke about we've invested massively behind uh, different areas, like like if you talk about content, content creation. Yes. Today I think more than a fifth of my agency are content creators. Wow. Uh, you talk about performance. You talk about e-commerce. These are areas that. You know, we have really invested in, and and today, for a client who really wants to maximize return of his investments from his customer, I think we are rightly placed to be able to do it. So, as an integrated agency, I think because your ability to join the dots, bring together the data, and and give a proper perspective of the consumer, uh, you are in a much better position to be able to deliver value. Yeah. So, Nali, you wanted to say something when Ajay was talking. I was actually saying exactly, I mean, he, he built on that, but I think the whole has become greater than the sum of its parts. And, yes. and I think coming together at every, every intersection, and what I was saying was the CMO, CIO, CGO, which is the chief growth, growth officer, officer, and the strategy officer, they all play an equal role. And yeah especially the kind of clients that we have been working deeply with, that it's very hard to separate it. What is the role that performance plays versus brand marketing? What is the role content plays? It's impossible to segregate it. Yeah. Consumer doesn't ex uh, segregate their experiences of, of marketing. A brand in its goals does not segregate its experiences. So therefore, the agency has to come together and build both specialization and integration under the same roof. Yeah. So, If they want to retain the business. Well, <laughs> and be responsible for driving outcomes. Yeah. A few minutes back, Sam had talked about, Sam is here and I, you know, he talked about how we shouldn't be using agency as a word, but, you know, getting into more of a marketing consultancy. Yeah. Now, from the client perspective, um, as a consultant, okay, what we are trying to solve is that digital as a catalyst, the problem needs to, so it doesn't matter if the CIO or CEO, it's, it's ultimately, it's a board function or a CEO function, right? Yeah. How do I use digital as a catalyst, okay, to to get that growth or get those business goals happening is something that we should. So we, as a consultant, we should be solving that problem just instead of talking about different channels. You know, it's very interesting uh, that you refer to this and I'm not going to open the, uh, you know, uh, the revenues for the agencies and the margins for the agencies, that's a Pandora's box, uh, you know, and I think uh, the marketeers perhaps need to have a relook at what they're getting from their agencies and look at it, and I, I'm on your side, uh, you know, on that one. Uh, but having said that, I think uh, the thought where you're coming from is that, look, you know, digital delivers top line to organizations today, right? Uh, and I, I mean, I lead that business for IBM, for, you know, India and for uh, ASEAN. Uh, and I often have meetings, uh, even down with the media agency to say, not enough leads, you know, uh, are coming in because my team has to, you know, deliver on the leads uh, that come in. So I lead that team. Uh, but having said that, I think the other interesting thing is that the difference of a consultancy versus an agency is that the consultancy has a conversation with the CEO who is ultimately responsible for top line and the bottom line of the agency. I think where, what is your experience there? I mean, I know we're talking about a specialist versus an integrated agency. Which one is more capable of driving a conversation with the CEO then? Specialist versus integrated. Any one of you. Sanma, you want to talk? Interesting question because I'll tell you what happens. And out of syllabus. We didn't discuss it. <laughs> <laughs> Always fun to do this. No. Uh, so... You know, simple. CEO are looking for a business growth. 
every money he puts in and every client has a finite money like yes. he looking for a business change but cmo wants to win an award yeah i agree the kpi is differ <laughs> some cmos only <laughs> okay okay tanmay <laughs> i think i think everybody got the answer yeah yeah so i think therefore it is also about ensuring that you are working with organizations where you advise them on what the marketing kpis ought to be and if you want to partner them on the marketing kpis that you can deliver then i think uh, that's also something uh, that the agency world should perhaps look at uh, you know to say not just the services we offer but how the marketing ought to be structured sometimes because i think that has an impact uh, uh, on an agency but you know i'm going to I'm, i'm looking at the you know time that we have left so i'm going to come back to all of you and ask this question therefore which is important because it gives us it gives everybody over here uh, a window into thinking that you have inside you know your uh, brains here about and you're going to lead the agencies of the future that's why you're here sitting on the panel uh, which client what type of client who's looking for a specialist agency why are they looking for a specialist agency and who and why they're going and contracting an integrated agency because there's space in the market for both every digital agency is doing well okay everybody has had high growth in the last 3 uh, years right whether you are a specialist agency or whether you are an integrated agency everybody all digital business has had high growth now there is a case for a ux agency being different because you are managing seo but 2 years later we want an overhaul you know our digital media uh, agency or an integrated agency may not have that specialized skill so if you have an in house ux agency in your network you call one but you know that's a specialist job so i feel that there are some specialist jobs which will continue to exist and this i've just given one you know as an example right having said that you leave those aside if you're looking at running the customer experience if you're running uh, you know looking at running the roi kpi delivering a sale at a cost delivering a lead at a cost right and building the brand you know then who's hiring a specialist agency and who's hiring a integrated agency uh, sonali you want to go first <laughs> happy to since yeah. we spoke about this okay i'm not sure you can be heard so if you yeah um, the mic closer to audible. you okay good fully all right so i think um goes back to the conversation we were having as well i think and everybody here in the room is aware, aware now that that golden age of everybody turning unicorn is a little behind us today every investor is seeking profitability beyond just user growth as you move along that journey and your consumers and engagement and having a meaningful relationship become more and more important it is going to become equally important for everybody to move up and own the funnel and this i'm talking about the consumer funnel which ultimately leads to the brand experience funnel as well and in that sense i think all brands that have large growth ambitions and a long term plan will ultimately go in that direction and 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 as profitability is not a you know profitability or building a brand is not a one day one time job it is something that is long term it is something that you have to drive over time and therefore i go back to the point i made about integration being singularly the most important thing if you have to have a partner in an agency and I, i agree with sam that agencies agency almost feels like a bad word because you are equally invested in the journey of that brand so so yeah if if that is your goal then i am squarely in that space so you are saying a client who has a larger vision and wants to build a larger brand should probably look at an integrated agency i mean so as long as you have a partner in in them who can actually define the whole journey that's an interesting way to say as well as widely yeah yeah uh, so we uh, as ipd media brand we have a very healthy mix of clients right so we'd have an itc who's looking for an integrated agency because they will say that hey i'm not going to break down into how much needs to go into outdoor how much on to television how much on to connected tv how much on to search i'm talking my marketing goals communication planning and from there you take it down right yes. at the other end of the spectrum because we have specialist business units financial paints would look at us as a specialist agency that is going to drive their digital transformation agenda right that has to do with 
building their website uh, on the Adobe platform and so on and so forth, and uh, a, a lot of other clients. So we, we straddle both sides of it. Uh, and again, it just boils down to uh, whether the client, again, want, how much does he want to break down his KPIs? Uh, our recommendation always is that, you know, you stay at the top. So large clients invariably would do well with integrated agencies. Also, the cost structures change. And while people think technology is a great uh, liberator and equalizer, it's not really true. It takes a lot of capex and uh, in intellectual investment as well before you can say that, hey, we are able to take care of your data yes. and be GDPR compliant. Yeah. Right? So again, it depends upon the scale of the client for uh, what makes more sense. Invariably, it is the integrated model that goes along with. So one is scale, and uh, Sonali mentioned their ambition and vision in terms of having a larger brand. And uh, I want to ask, uh, uh, you know, Tanmoy this question. Uh, how about their digital maturity? Would you consider that to be a factor? Okay, I have a different view on this. Uh, okay, look at the top 500 companies, clients in India, who are listed in ADEX. And if you look at last three years, their market cap versus the ad spend they have done. They're not correlating anymore. Right. That basically means that media is not working for them the way it is. Mm. Okay? But if you really cut the data down, you'll see probably around 18% of the clients where market cap is almost correlates to the media spend. And if you take that client set, you'll see most of them is integrated marketing. That means they have one or two partners. Yes. Don't have so many varied partners. Yeah. Because I personally believe that more you silo the business, you lose the ambitions that you want to go after. And you see that in data, I agree. And the biggest challenge I see in these clients, and there seems to be understanding, that because paid media is not pay, giving up the dividend to their market cap, they need to equate the paid media versus your media, or the direct to consumer. And that's exactly where you need integrated media, because they can bring it together. Yeah. Uh, you know, interestingly, uh, you know, when I ran the insurance business and performance marketing and even at the holiday company that I worked for, I very interestingly would never put it in the uh, marketing spends. I would put it in the acquisition, uh, you know, uh, cost uh, for sale because then I got a lot more money from the board. Okay, so, uh, you know, so, so CMOs sometimes have to do that to, you know, to ensure that we get more and more budgets. But yes, you're right, I think, in terms of the correlation, that's an interesting one. Uh, I'm going to ask Prasad to give us the last word today before we kind of end. But Ajay, what is your opinion on what kind of clients are hiring, specialist agency versus integrated agencies? So I'm going to have a little fun uh, with all due respect. Yes. I think a client looking at a specialist agency is one who hasn't really experienced a good integrated agency. Possible, possible. <laughs> That's a nice one. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, see, what is, a, what is a client looking for? He's, yeah. he's, he's looking for the best agency to provide solutions at various levels, right? Whether it's, uh, it's e-commerce, it's, it's your TV advertising, it's, it's out of home. You're looking for the best man on the, in the room, right? That, that's, that's what a client is looking for. And if keeping that uh, in the background, right, and as in, as an agency, as a partner for my clients, it, the onus is on me to build that capability within my agency to make sure that I am the first partner of choice for the client for whatever he's looking for. And in this, there is a client interest because only when there is an integrated player working with you who is the best at everything you need can you bring it all together. When does a client look outside when you do not deliver value in a particular area? I agree. If you can deliver that value, you can make the client's money work that much harder. So a client will look for an integrated agency if you, as an integrated agency, have taken the effort to build the capability and to create the expertise that can actually help the client. Very, very well put, Ajay. I totally agree. I think it's about uh, ensuring that you are serving the purpose that 
the client has hired you for and doing an excellent job, you know, at it. Uh, you know, Prasad will not disagree with that, but Prasad still, you know, look into the future and tell me who will hire a specialist agency and who will hire an integrated agency. I think uh, that comes to, at the beginning, the definition of, uh, you know, integrated, okay? And I would say this is, this space is becoming a lot of skill game, okay? And if there's a skill and if you want really those IMA guys to joining our industry, okay, then it is about consulting and if that has to happen, then the client who understands, okay, as an integration, not from the traditional and digital, he will look for someone, okay, who probably could do, we, as we call it, uh, you know, six areas, media, uh, customer experience, data and insights, tech and, you know, uh, tech and innovation, digital first uh, creatives, and uh, basically UI, UX. And that is where we as a group has started picking up some good founder-led companies in a few days back. We, we also, last week, we took our UI UX company. So those are the ones who understands the digital as a catalyst. They will go for the way I define the integrated as a one, okay? And um, I would love to work with them that way because it's very easy to uh, sort of explain to them. Thank you very much for those differential point of views. Let me just conclude, especially because the CMOs are not represented here. Uh, you know, I, 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 must, I must say that, that I think uh, some of the CMOs in the marketing teams probably take the trouble of doing the integration themselves and, where, uh, and therefore do a good job of still building the brand and delivering on the KPIs with uh, multiple specialist agencies. Uh, some of them uh, ha are structured in a manner and, you know, perhaps the old... Uh, uh, FMCG companies where you require an integrated agency because, you know, the budgets are too big and it is quite complex to, you know, do the divisions and uh, they perhaps do not carry the KPI of delivering the digital sales numbers, you know. So, uh, so I think these are various variables that are coming, you know, which make me realize that financial services work differently. FMCG works very differently, you know, the new age businesses. Uh, and the last point that I want to make is very large clients born on the internet businesses are also building these agencies capabilities in-house today. So I think that's the other thing, uh, you know, that's extremely important that they are building an integrated media unit, you know, internally and are perhaps not farming out, uh, you know, uh, the business. Uh, for the audience here, thank you very much to my, uh, you know, panelists. And I think the jury is open on this, whether, you know, one versus the other agency model will work for the future. But yes, you know, I will borrow what Ajay said. If you want to retain your clients' businesses, do a good job.